Hi everyone, this is your instructor Renee Garcia. I'd like to give you a little orientation on how to use the eSkeletons website for the labs uh, coming up. Um, this is a website dedicated to osteology of primates. And you can see by scrolling over this upper area, we're talking about a lot of living primates, right down to the little baby tars who are so cute, and the mouse lemur. So these are all primates. Some of these will come up in your labs as well, and you can definitely check this out for those species when they, uh, when they are uh, come up for your lab questions. For now, we're going to work on human. So you're going to click on the human skeleton, and then we're going to, you're going to see this uh, nice layout of the skeleton here. Now, depending on where you light your cursor, will be a section that will focus on those bones. So clicking on the vertebral column, I have all of the vertebrae here. And I can click on the first vertebrae, the axis, sorry, the first vertebrae, the atlas. And you can see it from the anterior view the inferior view, and the posterior view. By clicking on, let's do the femur, this is the, the long bones um, of the lower leg, we have the femur here. Very recognizable. So this is a anterior view, uh, sort of a front view. This is a lateral side view and medial this is an inside view and then the posterior which is basically behind the leg so what this will do is help you with orientation but it will also help you with the primary features that i want you to know to identify bones okay so the the femur is really recognizable for many many reasons this particular website is helpful because it can give you the morphology so i did that in some of the uh, uh, labs you'll have, you'll see those there. But for um, reviewing and really getting these down yourself, you can quiz yourself this way. So we have the femoral head. Here is the linea aspera, the uh, intracondylar notch, and the medial and, and lateral epicondyles, but these are both considered the femoral condyles, the greater trochanter and lesser trochanter. Okay. Now, when you're, when you're reviewing for this, you could pull up this image, write down the features that you know, that you see here, and then pop it back up and then see if you got the correct answer. You can also look at the insertions. This is, these are muscular. I'm not going to test you on that, but if you're doing anatomy, this is really helpful as well. And you can also look at your articulation with other traits, or sorry, with other bones. Um, if that if that happens so the medial and lateral condyle will articulate with the tibia for example okay let me get to give you an example of the skull so the skull is made up of lots of different bones lots of different bones so let's look at one that's pretty recognizable let's do the frontal bone this is an interior view so basically these are the upper eye sockets here is part of the upper part of the nose, and here's the forehead. When I do a lateral view, you'll be able to recognize it more, care, more um, accurately. So here's the upper eye orbit, here's the side of the head, and this is basically the forehead. Now, clicking on morphology, you get all the features. This is the coronal suture here. You'll get the superior temporal line. This is where the temporal muscle inserts. The zygomatic process is where the zygomatic part of the temporal bone will fit into. Uh, sorry, of the zygomatic bone, and then back here would be uh, the temporal. And then the frontal eminence as well, and superciliary arch where basically the eyebrows would be here. Looking at the superior view, you can do the morphology again, and the same thing, you'll see the same kind of features. Uh, posterior view morphology, you see the frontal crest. This basically separates the two hemispheres of the of the brain. Not really separates, but it's a sort of a like sharp divot. And then you see these kind of grooves. These are the anterior meningeal arteries or meningeal grooves here. 
um, that you might that you would get from the brain, the jugo cerebralia, but you won't you won't be tested on these kinds of details. Um, so this is super helpful. Uh, I love using this for students. I think it's really an amazing resource um, because it just provides so many more details that you might not see or um, get to see on the labs with much detail. You can also zoom in, of course, but it's it's limited in that way. Um, and there are just a lot of uh, really great other resources here, glossary um, that gives you some idea about um, you know the different features. So. I look forward to uh, seeing some of your work. If you have any questions about this website, let me know and we can um, go through it together if you need. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.